The only time you should ever have your hands physically on a venomous snake is if, first of all, you're a trained professional doing it. Whenever you have to do a medical procedure to a venomous snake, for the most part, you can do everything you need to do through the back end of that snake. There's a, there's a vein back there they can get blood from. Their cloaca, which is where they go to the bathroom and reproduce from, can be swabbed for a fecal sample. Um, if you have to determine if it's a male or a female, that's done back there too. So what we do is we run the snake, um, again, trained professional, with a, with a hook into the tube. When the snake is a safe distance into the tube, you grab the tube and the snake at the same time. We have different sizes of tubes because there's different sizes of snakes. And if you put too small of a snake in a big tube, it can turn around on itself. So the reason why we need to know the sex of a snake, we work with um, species survival plants to be sure that they're paired up with, um, with other species and other zoos to maintain that genetic diversity for animals under human care. And that's how we know what to report back to the people that manage those moves through zoos. We go through a whole series of training with our staff that take care of venomous snakes. It takes sometimes a year and a half, two years at that keeper's pace. Tubing a snake and bagging a snake, putting it in a snake bag to ship off to another zoo are two of the very last steps in that training. It's not something we hire a keeper one on day one and say, hey, go tube that snake. I mean, it's, it's something that is um, a for sure um, seriously trained um, procedure. Any dealing with a venomous snake is, is like a dance. I mean, you, you, you have to know what you're doing. They're the pinnacle of vertebrate evolution. Everything they do, they do perfectly. I mean, that whether that be constriction, whether that be envenomation, whether that be hibernating. I, I'm a nerd. I mean, I'm a, I'm a snake nerd, and I can't think of one single thing I don't like about snakes, and I want the world to think that too.